Hello Cancer, this is Daisy, aka the Professional High Priestess, and I'm here to do your March 2020 reading. So let's get into this. Alright, messages for Cancer, Someone Rising, Mercury, and North Node. Messages for Cancer, Someone Rising, Mercury, and North Node. It's been really deep for the water signs. <clears throat> messages for Cancer, Someone Rising, Mercury, and North Node. Alright, Cancer, you're going to have a message about something coming in with the writer here on the Nine of Cups. Someone could be finding out that you are their wish fulfillment or you are going to be getting your wish, wishes fulfilled. All right, messages for Cancer, someone rising Mercury and North Node for March 2020. Messages for Cancer, you have Angel of Love here. All right, good energies thus far, Cancer. So we have here for the Work Your Light Oracle, we have the Age of Light. It says you've been training for this for lifetimes, okay? So with this being here, I feel like what's going to end up happening, Cancer, is right now you are starting to realize how... You have probably had consistent past lives that what you are currently going through right now, you've done that in the past and you've always conquered your, your, your demons and you've always won the battle in the past. And I feel like what you are do, going through now, they're, they're asking you to really remember that as you deal with this, because I sense a lot of like, like some, some spiritual warfare off of this card. Clarify the age of light for cancer. Clarify age of light for cancer, please. Someone rising Mercury in North Node. Clarify Age of Light for Cancer with the Six of Swords here. Yeah, in the reverse, because I feel like there's some st stagnation, some blockages out of the frying pan into the fire. After the Five of Swords, dealing with narcissists, heavy mind games, manipulation, opponents, right? Jealous people. You're trying to move away and move out of that energy. But what this is saying is like, this, whatever's going on with these individuals, it you've probably met, met with them and dealt with them in a past life. Whoever was working against you, wanted to be your opponent, wanted to fight, now they're feeling guilty because they're experiencing stagnation, blockages, and delays. Clarify the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Clarify age of light. With the devil in the reverse. Yes, there was spell work involved. That's exactly what I was feeling earlier. You are letting go of this spell work. You're breaking these spells. You're breaking these curses, and you're moving forward with the Six of Swords being here. The person, the people who are sending you this devil energy, they are now eating what they sent out. That's why you have to be careful with that stuff. It's always a double-edged sword. Right? You've dealt with this in the past. Maybe you are a witch or a healer or a magician or something like that, and you brought those same powers into this lifetime. Clarify the writer with the Nine of Cups, please. Clarify the messenger with the Nine of Cups. Someone could be sending you a message. Clarify the messenger with the Nine of Cups. With the chariot card here. Someone is going to um, contact you. They want to move forward with you, with the chariot. This is the heart of cancer. This is your energy coming out here. I feel like there was like a lot of obstacles and delays with this individual either getting to you or for y'all being able to move forward. Now you guys are going to be moving forward because the angel of love is stepping in to clear the way and help your relationship, okay? So cancer, you are definitely going to be getting a message from someone that you are their wish fulfillment. There could have been like um, some, uh, some devil energy on the person that you were dealing with. Now that they've broken down that devil, you and this person could have past lives together too, now that the devil has been defeated here and the individuals who caused this are now experiencing the delays that they try to cause you, you and this individual can move forward. Clarify the angel of love for cancer. Clarify the angel of love for cancer with the four swords here. Clarify the angel of love. Clarify the angel of love for cancer with the page of swords. So, Cancer, of course, this person is spying and watching you on social media, okay? But I also feel like they could have someone toxic and lingering around them because I kept on seeing the Queen of Wands come out, um, reversed. That is also spying on you and stalking. But what I feel here is like after going through this tumultuous time with the Six of Swords in reverse and Devil Energy, right? Chaos and conflict consistently, lack of movement forward and stagnation, obstacles and aggression coming towards you. Now you can have mental rest and recovery with the Four of Swords here. Clarify the Four of Swords for, um... Cancer, clarify the four swords for cancer with the full card. And now you're ready to take a new leap of faith. Magician at the bottom of the deck, you're able, you're now ready to activate your magician powers and move forward. Whatever was going on here was very tumultuous and really toxic. And I feel like it really drained your energy. And it could have also had you feeling like depressed a little bit or even questioning yourself or even dampened you a little bit. So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Cancer, for the month of, month of March. I also see that you can um, 
potentially have maybe a delayed travel as well. So be careful with that. Also be mindful of like missing messages as well. Someone got some bad news about, um, maybe someone also got some information or news about like their health or after someone got some bad news, it forced them into this four of swords energy to heal. Someone also could have gotten some news about some infidelity. Someone like doing something sneaky in their bed because the four of swords is also a bed. So maybe the person that you're dealing with or you vice versa found out that the person that they were dealing with was, you know, having sex with other people in their bed, in their house, no respect. And that's devil toxic energy. Now they're moving away from that person moving forward. With the chariot card here as well, I feel like also be careful with car troubles. Make sure that as you're going out and traveling that you're, you check your engine, things like that. All right. You may also get a message about like your car is not, it, uh, you don't have to spend as much on, um, parts or something as you thought it was going to be I'm, I'm calling that in for you cancer because i know car repairs can be expensive what's the chariot you're going to get a message about movement forward yeah with the three of wands it's coming in ships coming in for you cancer in the month of march this this is a good reading you're going to be getting a message about ships coming in for in for you what's the three of wands for cancer with the two of pentacles balance being brought to a situation Maybe someone was juggling in the past and now, now that they're done juggling, they can come towards you now. There was obstacles and delays. Someone too is also weighing out their options with the ships that are coming in here. You get to pick and choose. Now that I'm on, I can pick and choose. Only fuck with women who got shit to lose. You see? So that's going to be happening for you in the month of March. What's the devil card for cancer? What's the devil? With the page of cups here in reverse. Someone is also healing from toxic childhood patterns as well. I also feel like to be careful with a manipulated telepathy. If you have a soul partner a connection with someone, someone could also be manipulated using spell work to manipulate the telepathy, your dreams, etc. with the devil and the page of cups here. Because the page of cups is all about psychic messages, right? In order to keep you single with the nine of pentacles here. Yep. Causing tower moments, right? With the manipulated telepathy, because then you'll think that that's what's actually going on. So cancer, that's your, been your reading for March, 2020. I hope you enjoyed if you need a personal reading, all that information is in the de description box below. Once again, my name is Daisy, a.k.a. The Professional High Priestess. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Bye.